I'm Chris Dudfield. I'm the Chief Technology Officer of Intelligent Energy. We're a PEM fuel cell engineering company. We're based in Loughborough in the UK. We've been here since 2001, although we're built on over 30 years of PEM fuel cell development. Intelligent Energy's PEM technology is based on evaporatively cooled technology. It involves the injection of liquid water into the individual cells. Uh, the water evaporates and through this process we remove the heat of reaction as we generate electricity. Um, this is different from other fuel cell technologies where they'll use air or liquid cooling. Um, we don't need separate cooling plates to remove the heat, we just use a single plate design. The advantages of REC technology are that we just use a single plate for the introduction of the hydrogen, the oxidant and the liquid water cooling. We don't need any separate uh, cooling plates uh, for the stack. Uh, also, from a systems viewpoint, we don't need an external humidification circuit either. So overall, uh, this gives us class leading uh, power densities for the stack. It allows the stack to have rapid startup and response to, to changes in electrical load. Also, because the system is overall simpler and there's lower component counts uh, in the stack, it reduces the need for maintenance and also overall, which is a massive driver, is it reduces the cost of the stack in the system. In terms of the target markets and applications for our EC technology, in particular because it's of modular design and, and feel proven, we very much see this being motive driven, uh, typically passenger cars, light duty trucks, heavy duty trucks, uh, buses, off highway applications uh, and APUs as well, for example, truck refrigeration. Typically the power range of the EC technology can be from a few kilowatts to 100 kilowatts plus. Um, but I think in the range of say 30 to 100 kilowatts would actually cover off most of those applications with our system design. In terms of manufacturing, the stack design is based on a single plate. This allows us to, to manufacture at low cost and in high volume. We're now very much looking to commercialise our EC technology for a whole range of motive applications. The technology itself is already considered to be class leading in terms of the power densities it offers, but we continue to, to work on improving the performance of both the stack and the system. We're also looking at innovative materials and manufacturing techniques to further reduce the cost of both the stack and the system. Uh, to be competitive in the motive arena, these are real key drivers for us at the moment.